What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. Today's a very exciting because I'm gonna open up this package from YouTube. So I just got my handy tool that I got from Uline. When you order from Uline, you can actually get um, free gifts if you spend over a certain amount of money. So I got this multi, multi tool, which has really come in handy. But we're gonna open this up. So I've already cut the edges of it. Let's go ahead and open this. So I've seen unboxings of this before on YouTube, but this is the silver play button. So it comes in this box right here. Um, open it there is a letter from the ceo of youtube which is pretty exciting um, there's 220,000 people who have a silver play button so it's pretty cool i'm actually very excited about this um, so onwards to a million subscribers i appreciate you guys and all the support you've given me over five years of doing youtube so um, this is the button very very cool it is really exciting finally hitting 100,000 subscribers I have done this for five years now. I've been posting regularly and a lot of people have asked like how much money am I actually making on YouTube versus eBay? So I'll give you guys an example. Um, I'm gonna include a screenshot here of how much I've made since I started YouTube, which is actually $169,000. That's how much I've made over the course of the last five years regularly posting content. So do I recommend starting a YouTube channel? It depends. If you're gonna be regular and do it for a long time, then I recommend yes so my wife actually gave me the best advice for youtube and she said as long as you're going to do youtube videos just be consistent and don't care about the money just do it regularly and it most likely will end up making money so over the course of my youtube career it's done pretty good One hundred sixty-nine thousand dollars is a good amount of money to contrast that with how much money i made on ebay last year i actually ran three different ebay accounts i ran the resar nirvana store which did twenty-nine thousand dollars in sales over the three months that i did that another store that i did just by myself i did one hundred thousand dollars in sales and my main account daily refinement because of the pandemic money last year I actually did 2.4 million dollars in sales now I'm not going to go over my exact profit and loss on my store because if I told you that you would give you a really good idea of what I price my items at and I'm trying to not give away all the secret sauce as far as where I price my items and I also want to let people know obviously when you share your best items online those items quickly become your worst items because those markets become really really flooded an example of that would be like the Instagrammer thrift to travel she posts really cool cool discontinued items that would be great because those items don't get made anymore so you can share those online but for me since a lot of my best selling items anybody can buy I don't share those exact items on eBay but it just depends so depending on what you sell if you continue to sell it year over year over year you will make more money than the previous year all five years of doing YouTube I've made more money than the previous year and the same with eBay so again if you compound eBay it actually in my opinion will make more money than YouTube because it can last forever I've designed this eBay store to be open for until until my last day because the way it's set up is I want it to be modular photos are taken the same way the inventory comes in the same way hiring people to go bring inventory to you will take a long time probably several years because first off you don't even know what you want in your store second off you need to figure out how to buy in bulk at a profit it's easy to buy bulk you can buy from liquidation you can buy lots you can buy from different people but those lots may not be profitable you need to figure out ways to sell all the inventory that doesn't go in your store whether that is another person that buys from you whether that's the flea market whether that's selling it in lots yourself you have to figure out all those processes if you want to sort of continue to make money forever. And that's how I look at things now. I want things to last forever. I want to make YouTube videos for the rest of my life. I want to make an eBay store for the rest of my life. When I think about doing things now, I'm looking for longevity because I know how powerful it is. Every single year, you will make more than the previous year. It is kind of crazy that the first year on YouTube, I made less money than I'll make this month on YouTube. So over time, things start to compound. You learn a lot of things. A lot of things you get much, much better at your specific skill. So going from zero in sales to $2.5 million a year on sales is a lot. Uh, and I'll just be honest. A lot of this has to do with my colleague, Tekken Sports. We run the Facebook group together. If you guys want to join our Patreon, it's patreon.com slash the resource podcast. He's been consistent on eBay for 13 years in a row without missing a single day. He does the same type of thing with our podcast. We've done over 60 episodes. We've never missed a recording. So when you are consistent like that and you always show up, you will be rewarded with compound interest and compound efforts. And over time, things start making hundreds or thousands of times more money than when you first started. So I recommend whether you're gonna do YouTube, whether you're gonna do reselling, whatever it is that you do, whatever, if you're doing a new diet plan, just stick with it and over time, you're gonna be doing things that you never imagined were even possible. But again, it just starts with being consistent. In the beginning, you will get almost no results. Just stay patient and stay the course. Appreciate you guys. Make progress daily.